today's video I'm just sharing a few items that I have bought recently and of course these fall under the luxury category I actually almost forgot that I had these items because I like to buy things and know that I have them look at them for a little while until I don't know I just feel like using them so I thought I'll share these with you and then we can move on to other things that are on their way so the first item you can already guess it's from Tiffany and Co this got mailed to my address because I did not go in store to buy this to purchase this I ordered it online it's an item that I had been wanting for a while and I was kind of counting days and when I would get it and one night I just you know at 1 a.m scrolling through my phone just decided to go ahead and purchase it so the famous blue box but if I had gone in store it would have obviously come like this I would have walked out of Tiffany holding this and I'll just open the ribbon pretty some people use um, these things to decorate their homes this Tiffany color is a famous color some have painted their houses in this color as well because I joined a um, Tiffany and Cole Facebook group as well and you'll find a lot of things on there big fans of Tiffany & Co. This is my way of building on my collection. As you know, I have worn like the silver beading Tiffany & Co. set with the bracelet and the necklace in one of my other videos, one of my first videos. So um, yeah, I'm just building on my Tiffany & Co. collection. So this is what's inside and This is what I bought from Tiffany. This is called the Amazonite bracelet and it's a very loved bracelet by Tiffany fans. I had been eyeing it the first time I had ever seen it, which was online. And I just thought it was pretty and then later on I realized that with my birth month and things like that if you don't already know I follow star signs and things like that my star sign is attracted to Amazonite stones so and I had already purchased this when I realized that so it's a sign you guys this is it on my wrist And it just says on the silver heart, please return to Tiffany & Co, New York 925. This is the shirt I bought. As you can see, I haven't worn it yet, but it kind of goes with my bracelet. That's it for our first unboxing. Isn't it pretty? Let me know in the comment section if you have any Tiffany pieces or you like my Tiffany & Co piece. Um, I will link the bracelet in the description sometimes you can't find them because they run out um, they're very popular well they are expensive but they're you know scarce so they only make a few at a time so the Amazonite bracelet comes with two different sized beads and this one is the larger size beads so yeah go ahead and check out the link in the description and have a look at their website our next unboxing is from pandora i actually went in store for this it took me a while to decide what to buy in pandora their pieces are normally sterling silver gold coated which is like the shine collection then you have pure gold ones and they're really expensive so this is it excuse my nails I need to get done so that's the bracelet on I cannot wait to add charms to it 
so yeah I was debating between uh, rose gold the silver was okay but I never really wanted the silver I went with the gold because most of my jewelry is gold if you have not noticed I'm a gold kind of girl I have a pink undertone so it still suit my skin like you know but gold works as well these things are like expensive so anyway but they're cute should we go with the clothing or fragrance because you know I had to have fragrance let's go with the fragrance so as you can see this is part of the Maison Lancome collection I did do an unboxing of a couple several perfumes from this line so I'll link that video in the description if you have not seen it already and I already have favorites from that line so if you want to know what they are go ahead and watch that video after this one of course so this is Piv One's Print Temps from Lancome Maison Lancome collection the gold leafing print there pretty and it's clear on the back and the side as well and we've got a gold lid I am so excited to try this because my collection of this Maison Lancome fragrance range is growing Mm, let's spray. Citrus. A bit of floral in there. I don't know. At least it's not changing too much. It's pretty, but I don't really know how to describe it. It's citrusy and pretty. Let me think about it for a little while, then we'll come back and talk about it at the end of the video. This was a new brand discovery for me because, you know, I'm not really trendy and I'm not trying to look out for trends. So this brand though, I heard, is obviously really good quality, but they are like in with the big brands. So. I mean, if you know a lot more about them, let me know in the description box if you own any items from this brand. So, they had wonderful looking t-shirts with some nice prints on there. A little too dramatic for my liking, but I could appreciate the craftsmanship and the details then i looked at the price tag and i thought okay that's fitting it makes sense because they were not cheap this shirt is denim like a soft denim and it's not exactly white it's like a cream off white it says white but it's not like a bright white it's more of an off white creamish and it just looks clean it just looks good it looked really good on i might just try it for you at the end of the video we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling but i thought i could wear this as a shirt dress and or like you know really good jeans or pants underneath and kind of open it up wear a lot of jewelry hoops and when i wore this um, in the dressing room of course I tried it on in store it just went so good with what I had on and I had my hair slicked back in a bun with large hoops and some gold jewelry and it just it just looked really good okay it was like classy trendy chic kind of vibe boots sandals you know um, anything classy um manola sandals they will look really good you know just the plain ones with the gray or the cream they would look so good with this but i just liked it usually i don't like clothing with a lot of writing or anything like that but this was just so clean looking and such good quality and i don't know 
I just fell in love with it. I like the shape at the bottom. It kind of shapes my body really nicely at the back. <laughs> and that's always important. And the stitching is amazing. And it's got these buttons here. So this was um, 275. I mean, I don't know. Do you guys think that it was worth it? Um, when I put it on, I thought it was worth it. The material, yes, I would have paid something like a hundred something for it. Maybe like 200, but no more than 250. I think that's kind of stretching it a little bit. But what can you do, hey? Everybody's trying to make a living. So they're obviously trying to make the most out of their creation. So. Um, we just have to respect their choice to put the prices so high and You know, it's up to you whether you think it's worth it It's just the quality that does it for me, okay, it's easy to just think oh just another shirt, but when you feel the material when you look at the stitching and when you try it on it's a different level okay it's worth it so this is like this orangey red color like i mentioned it's it's hard to explain it's got a bit of like a washout white over the top and it's actually clip buttons instead of like proper buttons um which can be a good thing or a bad thing easy to put on but hopefully you know with some other clothing the buttons can kind of get loose but I don't think that will happen with this shirt so yes this color is called rust it was $245 and I got it in the size medium and yes I'll just show you the bottom Cut. that's it there and it's got a pocket on the side of the front the front button is kind of interesting that's it there that's something different anyway that's my second item from RJ and it's most likely the case that these two items will not be the last I buy from that brand. So the fragrance is described as a springtime sweetness scent. Um, it's based on the fresh rosy notes of a bouquet of peonies and you know with an enhanced spicy touch of pink peppercorns and enveloped in a delicious rose chantilly it gives me chanel coco mademoiselle you know the original kind of vibe just fresh flirty sophisticated feminine springtime flowers kind of vibe i think i'm gonna like this one i think it's gonna be up there with iris drage for me um i've been loving iris drage everywhere i go i get compliments so love it already it's clean sweetness fresh roses flowers even though i don't really like floral scents but the sweetness in there kind of makes it bearable okay and it makes it really nice all right that does it for this video i hope you enjoyed my little luxury haul please leave me a comment just you know sharing your thoughts about these items and yes i hope to see you in my next video i am loving it i mean you could do like a side shoulder thing depending on how many buttons you undo